We'll have Coach Painter if you're ready. Yeah, hey, Matt. Um, can you tell us anything yet about Eric? Um, no, they're going to look at it tomorrow. They uh, think it's just like a, like a bone bruise right now, but they're going to get an MRI tomorrow just to, just to make sure. Gotcha. Travion looked really good shooting free throws today. Is that Has that been a consistent thing for him throughout the preseason here? And what have you well, noticed about it? Yeah, well, obviously, when we're not, you know, we're doing – some live things in practice, but we're going against each other. You don't, you know, stat everything. Um, but obviously today was a good day, going 13 for 14 from the line for him, just to build that confidence. Just got to keep putting in time and, and, and working at it. Right. I know you want him to be more aggressive this year. Does that – is that part of it? Is him being confident in his ability to make his free throws? Does that line up with the aggressiveness you'd like to see from him? Yeah, Maybe. you know, just – making good decisions like we're going to put the ball in his hands a lot and we're going to put it as in different places like you know he's gonna at times facilitate for us and he's always been that way whether we throw it in the low post and he passes or he passes out of the high post he's a really good passer so the more things we can run where he can be one-on-one -on -one, um you know down low or just be in a position to execute with the stuff that we run um you know he has seven assists in this scrimmage, he had seven assists in the previous scrimmage. So just to be able to, you know, get the ball where it needs to be and his ability to pass, uh, you know, forces teams to make a decision. And uh, if they leave him one-on-one, -on -one, and then obviously that's what we want to. Has that kind of put your mind at ease about your backup center position at this point? Um, well, I wouldn't say, like, he's our backup by any stretch of the imagination. You know, he's led us in rebounding and competitive drills. Today was the first day that he did it. Um, he had 21 and 10, uh, the first scrimmage. He goes six for six today. He was eight for 10 in the first scrimmage. Um, he had 17 in this scrimmage, 20 in the previous scrimmage. He's been really good at rebounding the basketball. So, um, you know, today was the first day we – messed with those two playing together. So we, we had one segment where those two played together, and then we played small with the other team with Mason and Aaron at the four and the five. Right. Just to try to, you know, you're going to go small sometimes, um, especially when you press, if you have to go to the other end and, and run, um, you know, a possession to where you got to execute with those guys being small. You know, you want to be able to have a little bit of experience, and then we want to, you know, be able to have a little bit of experience playing big, um, with Travion and Zach, but no, he's, he's performed well. He's, he's really done a good job for us and uh, just got to keep working. He's you know, getting in good shape and uh, just has to have the awareness of what's going on all the time and then know what we're doing both offensively and defensively. But um, I, I've been pleased with his progress so far. So is Zach and Travion playing alongside one another? Is that something you're going to continue to look at or was that just a, just kind of a, uh, kind of a one-off thing today? Yeah, we'll see. You know, I, I think with, um, the landscape that we're, you know, going to go through here, that a lot of things could happen where you're going to be shorthanded and um, you're going to have to play some different lineups at times. So we, we need to just keep experimenting with everything. Um, but the meat and potatoes will be the, both those guys at the five mm -hmm. and, and backing each other up um, for right now. But uh, they, they've, done, they've done a good job and we just, we need to keep our focus and be simple. We don't need to, you know, get carried away, but we also have to, you know, put the guys out there. They're going to help us win the best. Uh, can you assess your four position at this point? Well, today they didn't. They, they got some pretty good shots, both of them, Mason and Aaron. And, and they didn't. Aaron was three for nine from three, and Mason was one for eight. But I thought they got some pretty good shots. Um, and, I, and I, you know, I think they'll knock those down. Aaron has really shot the ball well in practice and in uh, competitive action. So that's been a, a, a great sign for him because I know he's put in a lot of time. You know, after last year, that was a disappointing thing for anybody that can shoot to go through what he had to go through. Uh, but it also makes you stronger, makes you tougher, uh, especially mentally. And uh, he's really shot the ball well for us. But they, they've done a good job. And we're throwing a lot of stuff, you know, at those guys. And um, But, no, their, their ability to stretch the defense and make those shots is going to be important for us because we have two good low post players down there. So really looking forward to just kind of, you know, having those, those combos and those combinations. But we, we have to get to where we, we're solid on defense and then we're really good at executing what we're running and being efficient. And obviously we're not there right now, but we just got to keep working.
One last thing for me. Do you know when you expect Ethan back, and can you update us on Dewona? Yeah, I talked to him today. Um, so, I, I, you know, he's been out for two weeks. So um, I, I would think getting closer here in about a week would, would be my guess. I'm not saying he'll be back in a week, but I, but I think that would be closer to it. But we also got to listen to him and seeing how he's feeling. It's not something where you say, okay, he's out for 21 days and then right. – you know, it's mono and, you know, however the signs say, you know, we'll, we'll follow that. If he has to be out a long time and he's out a long time, if he's able to come back, you know, quicker, then, then so be it. But just make sure that, you know, we do what's right for him. What about Manny? Manny is still out and he has not practiced. Um, and, and so I think he goes to the doctor next week and, um, you know, we'll have more of an update next week is what Chad said yesterday. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. All right, Carl. Hey, Matt. Uh, what'd you like about what uh, Jaden did running the point today? Kind of an emergency situation, but is he a guy that's going to move around a lot on the perimeter? Yeah, you know, the, the thing about when you first start off, like, you know, everybody wants to, to play more minutes and play more um, and be versatile and play multiple positions. But learning multiple positions makes it harder. You know, you have to know what you're doing. At each position, you have to know from a defensive standpoint. Uh, that's probably a little easier once you learn the defensive piece of it to be able to guard different things because of what we do, just because we play man-to-man -man and we don't change. Um, we'll change how we guard some things, but we stick from a man-to-man -man standpoint. But being able to play different positions and know what's going on um, with all the plays that we run, that's hard. But uh, today was his best day. This, you know – not just his best scrimmage, but it was his best day in all the practices and then the two scrimmages that we've had. But, you know, he showed his athleticism. He was able to get to the basket, uh, knock down some shots. Um, very good in the open court, um, but good at sprinting and shooting, which a lot of kids that come in as freshmen, you know, they're, you know they can knock shots down when they're open and standing still, but their ability to knock down a high volume of shots while they're on the move, normally that takes a while. And, um, you know, he, he walked in the door being able to move and shoot. And uh, that's a good quality to have in college. Yeah, I didn't know today was what you've been seeing all in practice. But it, based on what you said, he kind of raised his level today in the, in the, in the scrimmage. Yeah. Well, I think he got more of an opportunity. You know, either yeah. there's no or short numbers he's going to play um, in the scrimmage, you know, the whole time. And But he did, had the ball in his hands a lot more. And he, he did a good job. And that's what you want. You know, when you – Somebody goes down, you know, the next guy's got to step up. You, know, you want those surprises. And obviously he has a, a lot of ability and he works on his game and puts in a lot of time and it matters. And, um, but it's also a process. You know, it, it takes a while. Um, once you start to feel, you know, comfortable in what you're doing and you don't have coaches constantly yelling your name, um, it's easier to, to process things and play well. It just is, but you have to be on the same page because when you break down and you don't do what you're supposed to, you know, now you don't stay connected as a group. So it's so important for young guys to be able to do that. And um, he's making progress. He's making progress in those areas and he's getting better. And um, we have a group of guys that um, we have five, you know, two redshirt freshmen and three true freshmen. Um, so it's, it's new for about half of our guys in terms of getting ready to play in a, in a real game. Uh, but they, they come in and watch extra film. They put in time. You know, they keep working at getting better. Uh, but when you put it all together, I don't think any one thing that we do is a struggle for any of our guys. But when you put it all together and you got to process everything, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. And, and so um, that, that's where the issue becomes sometimes. And when guys are that way and they don't quite have it figured out yet, sometimes their abilities don't come out. Um, but right as that light, you know, so to speak, you know, clicks on for them, then they can really take off and you can see, you know, uh, a talented guy like Jaden Ivey have a great day today. Where's, uh, where's Mason at defensively in your mind? Well, I think his physical, you know, presence is, is what we need. Like he's, he's very physical. Um, he embraces the physicality of the game. He'll mix it up with guys. Just learning, he, he migrates back to the rim a lot because he always guarded the biggest guy in high school. And that's a natural, normal thing for guys. And now, really, when you guard, you know, threes and fours and really ones and twos because he switches a lot on ball screens, now you're, you know, it's a big adjustment. And so just kind of learning different, 
you know, situations from ball screen D away from the ball, ball screen D on the ball, um, understanding different actions. Uh, but I think he'll really, it'll really help him for some things to hang his hat on once we start playing people and we know what they're running so we can go through things. A lot of times when there's so many things going on, um, I, I think it's a tough adjustment for anybody in their first couple of years. And, uh, but I think once we get to scouting reports, that will help him and our other younger guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have anything else? All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. Why not, man?